Let's dive into my nursery basket. Hey mamas and welcome back to The Balanced Mom. Today I want to dive into my nursery basket. It is something that has really, really helped with keeping things organized and everything has a home. I think I started doing this nursery basket when I had baby three and then with our first and second baby, I just had them on my nightstand and I feel like anytime I would take something off the nightstand, I wasn't likely to put it back. I would have left it in the bathroom if I used it then or I would have left it somewhere in the room like on the dresser. But this nursery basket has helped so much with keeping things contained and everything has a home. So all night long as I'm feeding the baby, changing the diaper, I know where to find everything and it's not spread out on my nightstand or on my bed. It's all tucked away nicely in here. So this is baby number five and she is just two and a half weeks old so please excuse the exhaustion on this mama. I do sleep in a king size bed. We ended up borrowing a mattress and so I have plenty of room on the actual mattress. So on the side of my actual nursery basket I do have a baby bed that she sleeps in and then I do have a blanket that I pass on to my husband husband when he takes the baby the first portion of the night and a pad if needed. So this is where I sleep and obviously baby sleeps right on the side. So I'm going to start off with the first side which is everything related to me. So I have my two different creams, my prescription cream and my non-prescription cream for nursing. It depends if I'm still in a lot of pain I'll switch to this one. Otherwise this is my go-to cream. Then I have nursing pads if I need to change them of course. I still have medicine up here in case I am in pain and still need to take it. And then I also have my facial cleanser just because let's be real who has time every single night to rinse their face and so sometimes I'll get in bed and totally forget that I didn't even rinse my face and I have the little pads to wipe my face quickly and basically just get in bed. You don't want to lose sleep as the baby is sleeping since you really do not get a lot of sleep at night. I also have these little bobby pins in case I toss my hair up and have a few strands that I want to clip up. Just again everything handy ready to go. That's everything related to me. Then in the front I have the changing pad. Yes I did mention that I have the other one. This is just kind of what came with something that we bought. I don't remember what. I thought it would be really handy, but honestly, I still kind of resort to that one or I resort to the two diaper method where you take a clean diaper, tuck it in under the baby, and that kind of becomes like your changing pad. And so if obviously, if you have any issues like spillage, that diaper, second diaper is there to catch it. Otherwise, you basically wipe, take off the old diaper, and the new diaper is right there ready to be folded over. So that's kind of my still go-to method. There were days obviously where there was a little bit more and I resorted to using one of the pads. I also have my little nightlight remote. If I I want to turn on the lights, make it brighter. And then I do have a Dyson in here because the temperature, it just is really, really cold. I think it's low 60s in this room. So I always have to turn it on and just make sure that I monitor if it gets too hot or too cold in here. Now I'm going to swing to the other side. This isn't a lot, but I have baby hats, two of them, just in case, you know, again, it gets chilly or I feel that she's like sneezing or feels a little more cold. And then I also have little doggy bags where I throw out the diapers and keep them on the side of the bed. Then I toss them out in the morning and then I have again a new batch for the next night. Lastly, I'm going to sneak to the back to show you what I have. I have two snack bars if I do get hungry. I also have headphones in case I do some working at night or want to listen to anything during the night because she is up a lot. The longest stretch she's giving me is two hours. So I just have some work things back here and that way I can use my nights productively. Okay, now to the main section. I have wipes and I have diapers. I can just grab them from on the side, but they do go all the way underneath. So there's diapers all underneath here. Then I have her binkies, burp cloth, and then just an extra pajama or an outfit, depending obviously if I go through one or two at night, but it's just extra clothes. And then obviously things to take care of the baby. Then I have her swaddler in here. I'll swap this out depending obviously again, if I feel like it's working or not. When you're so desperate for sleep, you're willing to try any swaddler, any baby bed, basically anything to see if the baby will sleep longer. And then back here. It's actually still related to me. I have my milkies that catches my milk all night long. I pretty much get three to five ounces at night just catching it. And then I bring a bottle and I tuck in the bottle right next to it. So then at night I could take the my milkies, pour it into the bottle, and in the morning I fridge it. And I also have my water bottle that I replenish every single night. So this is everything that I store in the baby basket. I have another one downstairs. It pretty much has almost everything that I have up here with the exception of like my face cleanser and the remotes. But mostly it's the same thing downstairs too. That way I don't have to haul this up and down the stairs. And there you have it. Hopefully seeing the layout will give you a better idea of what you may use during the night. I forgot to mention that I do have my silverette cups tucked right underneath my nursing creams. So that's another thing again that I have handy in case I need them. Hopefully seeing my basket helps you organize yours a bit better. That way you have access to everything. I would highly encourage you to have one upstairs and one downstairs if you are living obviously on two floors. That way you don't have to haul it every single morning when you're already carrying the baby. The last thing you want to do is carry a baby and this basket up and down the stairs. All right ladies. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful week.